Hey everybody, what's up? Well, so today we're going to do practical 2005, which is we're going to roll this thing over here down a sloping ramp. Okay, let's take a look. Huh? So in this exercise, we're going to obtain a value for the acceleration due to gravity g by determining the time taken for a wooden cylinder to roll various distances down the sloping ramp. So we set up this experiment as shown. The ramp is a 100 meter long plank and this height over here is exactly 5 cm. It's measured from the bottom corner to the ground. Okay, so let's make that first. All right. So we go in like this, and we take a ruler and we measure. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you can see that it's about it's about 6 cm now, and we're going to reduce it in this manner. Okay. What we're going to do is just change this clamp downwards. Until it reaches 5. And you make sure the bottom hits exactly at 5. And then we are golden. Alright. Let's raise it up again a little. Uh, okay. So we got that over there. Alright. Beautiful. Okay. So... What happens now, right, is that um, we're now going to take this and we're going to roll it down. Let's take a look again. We're going to place the wooden cylinder at a 90 cm mark then, so that it's parallel. Then we're actually going to roll it down over there. Then it should roll straight down the ramp, okay, without falling off the side, okay? So we're going to try that and we're going to time the time taken. Alright, so let's take a look. Okay, so. Hmm. Exactly 5 cm, right? Then we're gonna have a stopwatch over here. Okay. So what we're gonna do, right, is the best way to do this is to arrange it neatly in here, but to prevent us from making any acceleration upwards, or you know, like a pool or something like this, or accelerating downwards, we try to uh, let go in this direction. Watch this. Three, two, one. Okay. There we go, and then we get a stop. And you can see that I got zero point. Sorry, I got two point nine six seconds. Yep. So when we have that, then we're gonna write it down over there. Yeah. So once we got that right, you can see over here that we gotta place the cylinder and stuff. Then we got the first timing over there, so we're going to write down 2.96. Okay, then after that we're going to do a second time and a third time. I'll just do a second time for you just for the sake of, you know, seeing it again, yeah? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, there I go. Alright. Okay, once again, um, we have this over here. Then we're going to put a roller here, okay? And then put our fingers like this, and then we'll do three, two, one. Let go, okay? All right, good. Now we got a 2.85. Let's do that, all right? Come. 2.85. All right. Okay, and that's how you do this experiment. Once you do all the rest, then you get the averages and then you get the t squared. All of this should be something, point something, something. Basically, um, 3SF or 2DP. Okay, thank you very much and that was 2005.